Welcome to Cogent Education's interactive case on action potentials. In this case, a young man is stung while out on a hike. He soon starts to experience pain and muscle spasms. Before taking action, students enter a manual to review action potentials. At a cell membrane view, they interact with ions and transport proteins. First, students interact with ligand-gated sodium channels. When sodium moves into a neuron, the membrane potential becomes more positive. Students then progress to voltage-gated sodium channels and see that the depolarization phase begins when a threshold potential is reached. Potassium channels then move potassium out of the cell. This leads to the repolarization and hyperpolarization phases, in which the membrane potential becomes more negative. To review, students interact with each transport protein to see its role in the stages of an action potential. They then view the whole cell to study propagation. When students return to their patient, they learn that muscle spasms can result when ion channels are abnormally opened or closed. With this in mind, the students investigate the action potentials in John's leg. Using fundamental action potential data, students determine that the threshold potential is more negative than usual. Muscles can therefore contract with less stimulation. To treat John's spasms, students review toxins which attack various transport proteins. If the student can determine which transporter is abnormal, they can determine what stung John Dalton. Students test their hypothesis with an antibody to the chosen toxin. Then, they return to the cell view to investigate the results of their treatment. If the student's prediction is correct, John Dalton's ion concentrations will return to normal. And his threshold potential will be corrected. Finally, students complete a case summary to describe how they treated John Dalton and what they learned about action potentials. Interactive cases make learning meaningful, and by engaging with real-world scenarios and the concepts required to solve them, students learn science by acting like scientists.